Maybe you've already built one of these wiper style crystal radios or you're planning on building one and what you may have noticed is it's the easiest to build. It has high sensitivity and it's also the easiest to use because all you have to do is move the wiper back and forth to tune it. The drawback is, and especially if you're in an area like mine where you have one or two really loud stations that like to talk over the quieter ones, it has low selectivity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some extensions. I've got about three of them planned and it will help improve the selectivity of the radio. So you'll be able to eliminate the, the noisy, noisy stations and listen to the ones that are quieter in the background. And it's going to be the first one's absolutely very easy. Uh, and if you can build a crystal radio, you can do any of these extensions. So first let's look at this and make sure we know what's going on. Here's our antenna it comes here to our connection point. This is our connection point on the actual picture. Here we go across the coil and there's the coil. We come down here to the crystal earphones, which are right there. There's that resistor right there. Down along to the 1N34A diode, which is right there. Continuing on along, that's our wiper, which is right there. And then there's the connection point for the ground and then onto the ground. So let's move right along to our first extension and that is to put a variable capacitor in between the antenna and the connection point on the radio. And here you can see on the photograph what I've done is you just run a wire from here to the capacitor and then you connect your antenna to the other side of the capacitor and you are done. Now this improves selectivity and there's very little loss of sensitivity uh, depending on how uh, far in the plates are tuned or not uh, turned in or out. And this is the most common extension, as I said a little bit ago. However, I have found that on my radio, I don't know whether it's because of the antenna or ground system or the radio, I found that it works better when I put it in the ground. Now, this is part of the fun of crystal radios. You get to experiment and there's no cost of doing this. You just move your jumpers, right? Move your wires over. So I have put the capacitor, the air variable capacitor in the uh, ground circuit rather than in the antenna circuit. And yeah, What's my theory on why this works? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. It may be because of the power consumption in these components up here. Um, so it's better to have it after the power consumption than before. I don't know. That's just a, a wild guess. So uh, I'm going to repeat a lot of this. We're going to go over to the workbench and we're going to take a look at it online, real live, and show you uh, via the oscilloscope uh, what's going on. Uh, I wish I could give you the uh, you know, the sound coming through, but again, YouTube will block my video if I do that. So we'll use the oscilloscope. We'll show you how this works and that'll be that. Okay, let's go. This is a basic crystal radio. It's a wiper style, obviously, and it is very easy to build. It's very easy to operate. You can get really loud signals on this thing. And that is because it has high sensitivity. The drawback of this is that it has low selectivity. So in my case, there's a station, you can see it right here. It's very loud and it dominates this part of the coil. And I've got another one down here that's not quite as bad. It dominates this. However, I can hear this station all the way along here. You'll get crosstalk on it. And this one will also crosstalk on the weaker stations. Now the question is, what can we do to make this radio more selective. We're going to give up some sensitivity. That's always the trade-off. Sensitivity and selectivity always have a trade-off. But what can we do to get the maximum selectivity with the minimum amount of loss of sensitivity? Okay, so let's do that. These are going to be multiple steps. I'm going to make multiple videos on this and it's going to be well within the ability of anybody who can build their own wiper radio will be able to do these advancements. The first advancement we're going to make is we are going to put a capacitor into the ground connection. And normally I would use a single gang capacitor, but I'm out of them. So I'm going to use a dual. If you're going to buy a variable capacitor, I would buy a dual gang because some of the advancements we're going to do will require a dual gang. But for right now, I'm only going to use one of the gangs out of this. These are both 360 picofarads. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ground and I'm going to connect it to the one side of the capacitor. 
and then I'm going to take the other side of the capacitor and I'm going to connect it to our to our ground point and then I will be able to um, move the plates in and out and you can see I think I bumped this and I got it off so I need to put that back on my loud station but already I'm getting better selectivity oh, there we go so you notice I had to move the wiper to get it back to the noisy station so what this capacitor is going to do is it's going to narrow the range in which I can pick up that loud station in other words, it's going to push that loud station into, into where it should be on the coil and not allow it to just bleed all over. Um, and as I move the plates out like this, you'll notice that this will go down in volume. Right now I'm listening to classical music and two guys talking over the top of it. The two guys have disappeared and now I can hear the classical music. So I've already done what I need to do. I've already made it more selective. And now I can bring in these two guys again. I wish I could play this for you, but you know, as soon as I do, YouTube takes down my videos. So this is what I need is a spectrum analyzer for like $20,000, but I don't think that's going to happen. My boss is not going to approve of that. So yeah, I mean, I can go over here to where the other yeah, here's the other loud station and it's talking over everybody. And by dialing this out, I can, actually it's, it's going from two loud guys talking to two different guys talking. <laughs> so talk shows and there's just pure static right there. Interesting. Okay. But this is our first improvement and you can see it's quite easy to do. Now, some people are going to say that uh, you want to put the capacitor into the antenna. I've done both and on my particular antenna and radio setup, it works better in the ground. So this is part of crystal radio. You experiment, you see what works best for you. You learn from it. You say, okay, you know, it's maybe a longer antenna does this, a shorter antenna does that, this type of ground, that type of ground. Um, so here I've got music. Here I've got two guys talking. The music is fading away, so I'm getting more and more just the guys. And yes, uh, just the two guys. So it is allowing me to get rid of obnoxiously loud stations and listen to the, to the quieter stations that are behind it. That's how simple this is. You can literally hook it up yourself. Just put in the variable capacitor between either your antenna or your ground and give that a try. And I think you'll notice a drastic improvement on selectivity. Okay. Well, that was it for today. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your crystal radio experimentation.